Again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Springville, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. These are my paint colors today. I believe that that is a mixture of gold. My go-to is not available, which is Decor Americana 24 karat gold. This is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters. This is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters with a whole bunch of white metallic from either Anita's or Sargent's in it. That is a purple flash from color that's color shifting from folk art. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a purple that probably started out as something else and changed with some iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it. Added. I don't know what that is. I think it's really ancient. This is not available, but I like to use it and I've got one bottle left. People are making up this mysterious recipe of turquoise that's iridescent. This is a green, a green gold flash from uh, Folk Art and it's color shifting. These are my colors left over from yesterday in the bottom of a cup. They're still nice and moist. This is an Amsterdam color shifting thing that I'm going to use for filler because I haven't seen it do anything that's so impressive that I know what to do with it yet. So if, as you can see, I have a dry canvas and it had a background on it. And I like the background, but I want some more. So I'm going to do just what I did again and drip some more paint on there. And I'm kind of inclined to add a little bit of this very turquoisey stuff. And most of the dots in the center are not going to show because I'm going to be putting a feather there anyway. So I grab my OXO omelet turning spatula and just maybe a little maybe a little blue too. Now I did let the first layer dry and you could do that or you don't have to. So my plan is maybe one more. <laughs> Can't get enough of that spatula stuff. Hopefully I didn't mess that up with them. I think it'll be alright. Whatever the background is, it's, it's just a background. And like I said, my feather will be in the center. I don't even know if I need that edge catcher. But I am going to put some paint into my container. A minimal amount of paint that I hope will show up nicely. <laughs> this is really risky. And once I get to the end, I'm going to start over again. And I think I want some white. Oh yeah, there it is. I was going to use some white metallic from Anita's, but I don't need it because I've got filler. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of gold in there. And my purple flash is obviously my favorite. And I'd really like that to stand. And I just got cold to red. Red metallic. I don't know who made it. But I would like it to be a very funky feather. And I'm going to put my glasses on my face. Put a few more drops of that mysterious in there. And hit it one last time with everything I want to see. Everything's in there but orange. Alright, so I'm going to take and ribbon pour some colors, hopefully. This is an experiment for sure. A new way to make a feather, maybe, at best. So let's grab some black. Let's grab something that's open and will work. How about anything? <laughs> I know this is open. I used it earlier. So I'm going to flow that to that line and then away. And I'm going to try and even up that little spot. Hopefully this works. I see that I have something in my paint and that is why I have a glop there. I also want to hit it really quickly with a torch. I can't say I'm super thrilled with all of that yet, but um, it could still work out.
I think instead of trying to do two sides, I'm probably going to run a quill right up the center. Here's my paint. All right, so I've got lots of stuff I like. No idea what how I'm gonna get out of this. Just hoping. <laughs> At this point. Not super thrilled yet. I think I'm going to take a basting brush or a fork. I'm not sure what I do with my fork. There it is. I'll just use my fork. Help camouflage some of the things I'm not certain that I'm in love with. And even up the outside edge. I'm going to take the fat end of a bamboo skewer. Run it up the outside. A lot of times I did this on a wet canvas. Whoops. <laughs> Sploosh. So I'm just going to make it into whatever I want to make it into. Because I can. Which is also the name of my book on the Amazon link. under the link tree, which is under show more under the video. Just a few lines to make it look like a feather before I add whatever it is I finally want to add. I've got some stuff I don't like there, so I'm going to take a chance. I hope that I can get away with it. I really like putting a tip on my feather the other day. I think I'm going to do that again since I have room. Back to my fork again. Yes, I am going outside the lines. Maybe feeling a little like I shouldn't have used that paint that was left over. But it does give me an excuse to try stuff I wouldn't have tried if I wasn't having a moment. of doubt. And I've got a few bottles in my way. So far, I'm not 
super, super impressed with myself. Unusually so. But like I said, that gives me permission to continuously play and add some new effects. I never did put any of that green in there, but what I really want is some turquoise. So I'll just treat it like any other painting, put colors where I want. I'm kind of feeling more and more like this is a non-event. I'm sure somebody likes it better than I do, and lots of times when things dry, I like them better the next day too. But I see no reason why not to change things until I like them. There was any orange in there. Maybe a white tip. Maybe as soon as I find the wrong way and the right way. There is always the comforting moment when I think I don't have to share this if I don't like it. I was going to put some hot pink in here and I'm kind of regretting that I didn't do that. But I like surprising myself pleasantly so I'm hoping that this is going to be one of those. That's better. Finally, until I did that. What kind of bird feather is that? I have no idea. So that's a lot better. I'm happier now than I was a minute ago. I like the gold. I almost think I want some more of that right down here. And maybe what will make me happy is adding it all the way up the shaft. Where's Mastrell?
got some muck in there that I would like to see disappear. But mostly what I'm doing right now is disappearing my gold. Still, I'm not hating what's happening. It's a better feather than it was. And I like that end. I probably shouldn't use, be using my fork like a like I would expect a spatula to work. It's a very long-winded feather. Again with the drips. It's a drippy kind of day, I guess. Well, I gotta say, the only thing that I'm really feeling like I'm missing is time! So I do sell my artwork, even the stuff that's really, <laughs> really idling me. I'm gonna throw a little bit of red opal in there too. If it'll come out. You could also do this with a basting brush. So you don't have to give up if you hate what you got. Just keep adding paint. And I am going to torch and call it good. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery Sing. That was a little bit of a struggle, but um, I'm still really glad you guys were here. I'm going to add one last edge of this, which should dry very pearly. going to mess up the edge a little bit so it looks more organic. Tell you guys I love you. There's over 90,000 of you subscribed and uh, hoping that you'll go check out my playlist. Creative playlists have over 1,600 videos on them in 16 lists of 100 and the rest are organized by topic. And I am going to put a little bit of that I need his white metallic right down at the bottom because I can. I have two books. One is Because I Can and the other is Unlimited Possibilities and you can find both of them on the Amazon link that's on the link tree where Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links and all my Facebook groups are. If you're looking for a Facebook group to join, if you're a new student, if you're a new student, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. It'll also share tomorrow's video with you. Teespring clothing below the video helps support the production of videos in the studio. So if you want to be in the monthly drawing, just make a contribution through PayPal or Patreon. You can find those links under the link tree and also on <laughs> my YouTube channel header. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I'm really glad I added that little bit of um, gold to the tip. Bye for now. Priscilla out. If I can zoom in before you go on, I will. Oh, yes. There we go. It's a funky feather. And it took some work to get it that way, too. Bye for now. Sorry about the beeping. Oh yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would appreciate that very much. And uh, share my videos whenever possible. Stop. What else can I tell you? If you have questions, please feel free to ask them and I'll get back to you as soon as